Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Matt and I want to show you guys how to make a musical instrument out of a straw. I like to use this activity to talk about pitch, the pitches of high and low. Can you guys say hi? Good. Now, can you guys say low, low? Good. Now, you guys are going to see that as the straw gets bigger, the sound is going to be lower. And as the straw gets smaller, the sound is going to get higher. So all you need is a plastic straw and some scissors. And I recommend just showing this activity to children who are too young to blow on the straw as it is a little difficult. The way you blow on it is like this. Put your lips right here in front of the point we're about to make. The way we get it started is by pinching one end like that. And then you make two cuts to make it a point. One and two. Should look a little something like that. It comes to a point. And then I like to just take off a little bit at the top. So it looks something like that. Here's the sound it makes. <gasps> so Here's how we can have some fun with this. Here's the original sound. <gasps> and here's what it sounds like when we added another one. <gasps> so that's two. Now we're going to pull it up. Here's what it sounds like. Now, what would happen if we cut it in half? Here's what that sounds like. The sound got higher because the straw got smaller. Should I do it again? Let's see what it sounds like even smaller. Let's cut it in half again. Look at that. It started out. It was about this big. It was this big. Wow. Let's try that one more time. Do you think we can cut it in half again and have it make sound? Look how tiny that is. Should I do it? So. Kids get a kick out of this activity. I recommend when doing this activity with young children that you talk about pitch with big and little and high and low like I did and see if they can vocalize high and low uh, with you. I recommend that children be about you know school age before they try the straws themselves. Have fun, try this at home, and be safe with those scissors. <laughs>